Okay, quick save editing of Sandy's Save tutorial. I'm gonna put some items that wouldn't normally be saved onto the serum. To start off, just save it at normally as best you can. The Sandy Saver works by only saving the bits the game doesn't save for you. So if you can just make an item normally, well, no need to deal with it. So kind of arbitrary, we've got a Florentine and a Trochectra. If I grab the Stinger Barrel, and say we want to put this in an elemental slot, even though it's not in the drop down here, you can just paste in the part name and it accepts it. And you know, we do have a warning here, unsupported value, we can more probably be deleted. That means this item breaks sanity check, but sanity saver removes sanity check, so you don't need to worry about that. This Florentine is just completely done. Um, now if we try putting this barrel on our try try picture, however, you'll notice we get the red outline here of that stops. So we switch tabs and come back, in fact it deletes it. And that's because the Stinger is from a different DLC than the tri Triclectra, which makes it in... Putting the Stinger on the Triclectra makes it an unserializable item. There is no way in the game's save format to represent a Triclectra with the Stinger barrel on it. And luckily, the save editor here gives you this nice red box to let you know when this happens, because to save items like this, you're going to need to go through the Sandy Saver save format. The first step, just actually save the items on your character and go in-game with them once. Just like this. And while we're here, we can actually check on our Florentine and see Element Flat of Pistol Barrel. That's the Stinger Barrel there. That's saved all time and dandy. Now for your Sandy Saver saves, go to the Sandy Saver mod folder, then into the saves folder and find the save of the same number as the save file you opened here. Um, by default, these saves are compressed. If you have a good archive tool, you'll just be able to open them like this anyway. But what's probably better to do is to go into your mod options and turn compressed saves off. And you'll see this formats them much nicer for us. Uh, so, Sanity Saver, like I said earlier, it only saves the parts that change, but it also just saves a short description of every gun so that you can find the right one to begin with. So we want to edit our Tripectra, and you can imagine if we had like a hundred extra items, we'd just control F search for Tripectra. And let's say we want to change the barrel slot. So to do that, you need the full plot name, which is not just barrel like it says here. Full names are listed in the readme, and I'm sorry for what horrible things this format does to markdown files. So, drive the full barrel name, which is barrel definition, and then add a comma to the end of the last line here, new line, in quotes, barrel part definition, full on, and then in quotes, the full part name you want to add. Just need to make this valid JSON. So let's throw that in there, and save the file, and you're done. Note that you don't actually need to reload your character when you're editing Sandy Saver save files. So now if we check our... Uh, picture, it's, it's even called a stinger now, but you can see its barrel is allowed off the still barrel again, and it isn't actually displaying on the model. Now if we wanted to make some other changes to it, let's also grab, say, the manufacturer grade index. Remember, always have a comma on every line except for the last, like the bell JSON. Copy the full slot name, full on, and now this is a level, so let's make it level 300 instead, for example. Load into game again. And all of a sudden we're over power 220, because this is a level 300 gun. And once we're done save editing... Oh, one more thing before we get there. If the description field isn't that useful, like if you have three wrestlers try catchers for some reason, or maybe different elements of different guns and you want to mention that, um, you can just edit this however you like. Save that, load into the game, because why not? Maybe we'll drop the Florentine. And it will save whatever adjustments you made to the description. So that's safe there. So don't be afraid to edit that. It's not used to anything, it's just something for you to be able to find the right object again. Um, but the last thing I just wanted to mention was once you've done save editing, you might just want to go press saves again to save a little bit of disk space. This is one small file, but you can see it's 300 bytes without compression and up to 200 width. So imagine if you have similar numbers for a massive 100 item save. 